Today I'm going to share with you how to live stream with the Canon EOS R. You're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first person to tell you that. Let's say you went to live stream and you have a Canon EOS R and you think, how can I live stream with the Canon EOS R? So I can tell you some of the considerations that you'll have to address in order to get this going. First, what do you need? The EOS R, internet, hardware, a microphone, audio interface and streaming software. But we're gonna go slow, step by step. Canon EOS R, it's pretty helpful if you're gonna sit at your desk and talk to the camera to have a wide angle lens like the RF 15 to 35. And now we're gonna get into some of the other considerations that will help you be successful when you live stream with your Canon EOS R. So besides the Canon EOS R, what do you need? That's not all you need, you need more than that. You need internet speed above five megabits per second. I'd recommend eight to 10. If you're doing 4K, look at 25 or so. What else do you need? You need a piece of hardware to convert the HDMI out to a source that your computer, your laptop or your desktop will understand as a video source. And that's something like the Elgato Cam Link. This is my favorite option, but other options are the Blackmagic Mini Recorder. You might consider a Sling Studio setup. I'm gonna talk briefly about each hardware option. My recommendation is the Elgato Camlink 4K. Advantage is no additional software is needed, and you can also see it's pretty small. Another option is the Blackmagic Mini Recorder. One of the disadvantages is it requires an intermediary Blackmagic video software called Desktop Video. This device also has a Thunderbolt type connector, so make sure you have a dongle or an adapter to connect that or a laptop with Thunderbolt ports. Again, that's why I prefer the Elgato. Another hardware option is the Sling Studio and the Camera Link. Now, Sling Studio is a hardware package that's pretty sophisticated for the price. It seems more complicated than the other options, and it does require some more steps to get up and running. The Cam Link is a small unit that mounts on a hot shoe and connects via HDMI from the EOS R. The Cam Link ingests the signal from the camera and broadcasts it wirelessly to the Sling Studio hub. Then with the Sw Sling Studio switcher app on your iPad connected to the hub, suddenly you see the EOS R's view on your screen as a camera angle. And you can swipe it in to bring in new shots and switch between shots. It's great, but it's more than $1,000 to get up and running. The hub is about $9.99 and the cam link or the camera link is $3.49. Again, that's why I prefer the Elgato. <laughs> Next up, you need some type of live streaming software. My recommendation is Ecamm Live, but I'm gonna address a few other software options I've used. I've used Wirecast, I've dabbled with OBS a little bit, I've used Sling Studio, which we rely on for my school district job, and once I tried Ecamm Live, I fell in love. It's simple, straightforward, you get music, sound effects, a variety of scenes, which are essentially camera setups with saved text overlays and picture-in-picture -picture options, and it effortlessly brings in each new camera that you connect to your computer. The camera views show up as little thumbnails in the bottom of the live preview screen. Each software has a learning curve, of course, but they all do roughly the same thing. I have found OBS, which is a free open source option, a little unintuitive, and I have only played with it a little bit, and it was a while ago. From what I heard, it's better than it used to be, so if you're on a budget, check OBS out. Wirecast is a pretty premium solution, and it comes with a premium price tag, $5.99 for the basic studio software, or $7.99 for the pro version. Sling Studio is a great option, but it's pricey as well. Though you're getting hardware and software together, and they work great together. It's fairly easy to set up and achieve professional looking quality with the Sling Studio. You can stream and produce multi-camera shows to disc and upload later, or just stream directly out in true live style. A hidden gem in the Sling Studio setup is the ability to connect an iOS device like an iPhone and tap into the camera on that phone for additional camera angles beyond your EOS R. For the EOS R, you'll need a camera link hardware, which runs $349 and sits on top, but any iPhone can work with Sling Studio just by downloading the free Sling Studio app and connecting to the same wireless network. So again, there is a learning curve on all these, but they're all doable. Just try it. Probably the most challenging uh, to get started with is Wirecast, which offers layers of video in the software. If you're familiar with Final Cut Pro or Premiere, the layers probably make sense to you, um, though I find it 
convoluted a little bit compared to the other options, but it has the equivalent of Ecamm's scenes with text, graphics, audio. Um, it's from Telestream, which makes a great screencasting software for Mac called ScreenFlow that I love, so I trust it. All right, before we go further, keep in mind these four steps to help you get started stability, connection, streaming software, and audio. You have to consider all four of those to have a successful live stream. You have to think about stability. Get a tripod. First, set up the camera where it's gonna be and put it on a tripod and get the right angle. Now with the angle, keep in mind the HDMI cord is gonna extend out of the camera body and put some additional pressure on the body and kind of pull it or tug it in the direction of the cable because of the weight and the tension of the HDMI cable use the HDMI clamp that came with your camera that goes right here on the side. Make sure the distance to your camera and computer is feasible. It's like shooting tethered, you, you are tethered, remember that. So the connection, connect the HDMI cable to the camera, clamp it, and then you're gonna insert the HDMI cable the other end to the cam link. Connect the cam link to the laptop and your laptop should recognize your camera right away. Streaming software setup, open Ecamm Live or your streaming software. Look for your camera tab or camera panel and identify your cameras. Look for the name of the external camera, which will show up as Cam Link. Your other one should show up as like FaceTime camera or something like that. That's the built-in webcam. I'm not gonna go over the Ecamm Live interface, but these simple steps are so effective for going live with your EOS R. But you also have to think about audio. What microphone are you gonna use and what audio interface? Audio, this is one of my favorite parts. I used to play in a band and mix sound and record, but think about what microphone are you gonna use and what audio interface? You have options like the Audio-Technica BPHS-1. You have options like the Shure SM-B7. You have the Rode Wireless Go, and you have like the VideoMic Pro that sits a shotgun style on top of the camera. Audio interfaces, you have things like the Scarlett 2i2 Focusrite and the Zoom H6. Those are all options to help you bring professional sounding audio into your live stream. And that's key, and I'm passionate about it. There's nothing worse than seeing somebody go live and you wanna be with them, but you're having trouble hearing or the audio quality feels like they're in a bathroom or some a locker room where it's kinda echoey. So you want that tight, close audio sound. So. Hopefully this has helped you understand some of the considerations when you have your Canon EOS R. All you need is a piece of hardware to connect that into your laptop. And then you have to think about the stability, the connection, the streaming software, and your audio interface, uh, as well as your microphone. So thank you for joining. In the next couple videos, I'm gonna test the audio options so you can see exactly, see, so you can hear exactly what that's like. So I'm gonna compare microphones and you'll be able to hear that. And I'm also gonna do some comparisons of the streaming software itself. So make sure you're subscribed. You're gonna see a couple more videos on what it's like to live stream with the Canon EOS R and we'll go into some of the details in other videos. All right, that's it. Thanks for joining. Click subscribe, click like, leave a comment. Let me know if you've ever live streamed before and what you used. I'm really interested, particularly if you've used uh, Ecamm Live. I don't know anybody else who's who's been using it. A lot of people are out there playing around with OBS and uh, Wirecast and uh, Sling Studio as well are also good options. All right, see ya. It's Wes, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna show you how I live stream with the Canon EOS R. That's right, using your Canon EOS R to live stream. Anybody can do it, just takes a few steps and a few pieces of equipment. Let's get into it.